So what up, today I wanna to show you guys another build that I'm working on, the Inside Out Playmaker. I'm calling this my Vince Carter build because he's just like my Jordan build, but with a much higher pass rating. Now, although Vince Carter's been called the greatest in-game dunker of all time, some of you guys might know that he was an underrated passer. Just type in Vince Carter best passes on YouTube. And you're gonna see some of the greatest passes, no look passes, a lot of his lobs to Tracy McGrady. And this face scan creation comes courtesy of Zench Jeans. Hope I said that correctly, shout out to him. If you type in Vince Carter face creation for NBA 2K21, you're gonna find a bunch of them. I just thought this one looked really good. Feel free to pause the video at any time to get these exact numbers, or just go to his video. It's about a three minute long video. You can pause it there as well, get the exact numbers if I'm going too fast for you guys. I just don't wanna hold you up. Personally, I still think 2K should just let us choose faces, like all the NBA player faces. I mean, these default faces are probably developers. Why not just let us have the real life NBA player faces to choose from? I feel like the My Player Builder for NBA 2K22 isn't gonna be that much different from 2K21 next gen. I feel like current gen needs the update to next gen's My Player Builder. I'm not saying it's not without any faults. They definitely need to balance the badge count out throughout all the different positions. With that said, you guys already know next gen, you wanna make a power forward if you want the most badges or the most overpowered demigod-like build. Once again, we're going with a power forward right-handed jersey number 15. You wanna drop him down to 6'7", 211 with a 6'11 wingspan. I like to go with either a defined or built body shape. My Vince Carter has the built body shape. Now that you got the attributes down, you should be sitting on 65 badges. Now I'm gonna break this down with his 99 overall with the gym rat badge projections. So at full potential, we've got a 95 layup and a 98 driving dunk. Obviously when you build just a little takeover, you're gonna be at a 99 in both categories. Maxed out, we have an 83 mid range and a 94 three point shot. Once again, build some takeover, I can show you guys that the mid range goes right up into the 90s. But I don't really shoot any mid-range shots anyway, and since I'll be running point guard, most likely I'll be ISOing and shooting three balls anyway. 72 free throw means you're gonna be knocking down all your free throw shots in the rec center. We'll have an 84 pass accuracy, which is huge because my Jordan build finished with a 67 pass accuracy. 88 ball handle, 88 speed with ball, out the gate you're already momentum dribbling, speed bursting, Hall of Fame quick first step into the rim. We have an 84 perimeter defense, still get gold clamps, a 90 steal rating, which means you have pickpocket, Hall of Fame interceptor, you have an 88 block rating, and a 95 defensive rebound. You'll max out with a 93 speed with Jim Rat and an 89 acceleration. And get this, maxed out, you'll have a 99 vertical. You couple a 99 vertical with a 95 defensive rebound, you're gonna be snatching boards over bigs all day. And not to mention, you'll have a 90 stamina. And you guys can choose whatever you want for your takeovers. Notice how this build doesn't get any defensive takeovers. He still gets the playmaking takeovers, which is really cool because you can obviously run point with this build, ISO with this build, and also make your teammates better. I already have some other builds with defensive takeovers, so I'm not really missing out on anything here. And just for the sake of the video, we'll go with finishing moves and limitless range. And if you did it right, you get an inside out playmaker. This is kind of a rare build. I don't see too many people with this one on the park or in the rec center. Obviously, you see a lot of 6-7 scoring machines. This one's a little rare with a really good three-point rating. Now, I'm going to show you guys the badge potential. My badges are usually determined based on who I'm playing with and what mode I'm actually playing. If I'm playing 3v3, 2v2, or in the rec center. With 10 badges, you can still do a lot. Obviously, you can get a lot of bodies. Posterizing people with Hall of Fame, posterizer, Lob City, Finisher on Hall of Fame. I've got builds that have over 20 shooting badges, so I've kind of narrowed it down to the top badges that I like to use that work out best for me. Now this right here is what makes the build completely unguardable. You got gold ankle breaker, gold bailout, so if anybody even tries to help out, you can still kick out to the corner. And when you do kick out, you got that Hall of Fame bullet passer. It's gonna be a lightning fast, almost magic trick when you pass the ball. And on defense, I just spread things out. Kind of depends on who I'm playing with. Sometimes I like to run rim protector on Hall of Fame just to get some snatch blocks. So now I'm going to dive into some gameplay, show you guys a little bit of the highlights from last night's comp game at the Rec Center. Here we got the 90 overall inside out playmaker. 
Normally I'd show you guys some test footage, but lately I've been feeling confident enough to bring this build out, even at 90 overall. Because even though I'm missing some attributes and some badges, the build is already shaping up really nice. And the purpose of this footage is to show you guys that even against a comp team, with this build's passing ability, I can beat teams. If you're smart enough, you can beat teams with just your passing. You guys normally see me shoot a lot of threes, especially with my other primary builds, but but I do have that Hall of Fame handles for days and Hall of Fame quick first step, so I can get to the rim, and if they try to help out, I'm going to kick it over to my teammates. Let's play smart basketball. And we can still pull out the dub against a comp team with me just moving the ball around. It feels really good to be able to do that for once because my other build, I should say my Jordan build, he's an elite scorer, but he just doesn't have that high pass rating to whip the ball around. Usually when I play comp teams and people start to double team me or try to rotate, I can't really move the ball around fast enough, but this build can make up for that. Lower pass ratings work out all right at the park, but that's because there's usually a lot of spacing. Doesn't always matter how slow the ball gets there. And right here, I'm gonna show you guys I'm greening my free throws. Got a 68 free throw, but right now, it's probably a low 70s because I'm building some takeover. Up by 10, I'm gonna step back, blast to the rim. No posterizing dunk animations just yet. But as you can see, I can still bully past the big man. Just wait for your teammates to cut to the rim and lob it up. Controlling the pace of the offense, man, cutting to the rim. I gambled on that one. He should have had that steal, but he probably has a 25 steal rating, so he gets that late reaction. Right here, I run and seal my teammate's man away from him, so he has a wide open three. I do that a lot. And by the way, this drive cam seems to work out really good for these lobs. Like, I know you guys can see these angles. This is the drive cam if you needed to know. Going to the rim, see my man cutting to the back. That should have been a lob. Sometimes you double tap Y or double tap triangle and it just doesn't happen. So right here, we're gonna fast forward to the end of the game where they actually made a great comeback. We're only up by two points. We're gonna try to hold on to the lead. Right here, playing smart defense, waiting for the lazy crossover, get the strip teammate out on the break, the pass up court, and he gets the harm and the hoop. Tie game 67, all 10 seconds left. They go to the basket and miss the dunk. Ever since the patch, been seeing a lot of that. My man Cap cutting down court, lob, dunk, take the lead. Three seconds left, they need a good shot. This man gets it in the corner, goes for the fade. No good. Game over. We won this game without me shooting any threes. Look at that, 0 for 1. That's crazy. Now on to the park. Now this is my Jordan build. It's pretty much the same build, only with a lower pass rating, but a higher mid-range shot. I rarely shoot mid-range shots, but we do get these snatch blocks. Ooh. Some of you guys might have remembered this footage. I'm gonna show you just some quick highlights of some of the things that this build, my new build, will be able to do. They're identical builds, just one with a better pass rating. And I had to make this build. I wanted to try this out before the end of the year, mainly because 2K22 is right around the corner. And rather than testing out a bunch of builds in the My Player Builder for the demo, if we get a demo, as I break them ankles, I'm going to snap him again and hit the jumper. <laughs> but if we get a demo for 2K22, I just at least have some builds in mind. If I can make an all-round build, even if it's not the power forward, maybe it's the small forward next year. Maybe it's the shooting guard. I don't know. Maybe I'll be back making point guards. And for the record, I am working on a 99 speed point guard build. So if you guys want to see that one too, let me know in the comment section below. I don't just make power forwards. I got like two or three point guards. I've got a couple small forward builds I want to show you guys before the end of this year that you guys should definitely try out, at least in the My Player Builder test, before 2K22 drops. Just so you have some more ideas of what's possible with this My Player Builder, especially if they keep it relatively the same. So I can't wait to max out my new build. I don't have any warehouse challenges, and that is a problem. It's like delaying everything because you just can't do it as fast without the warehouse challenges, but regardless, I'd say in another week or so, I should have this build maxed out, and I should be well underway on my Speed 99 PG build, which is something I normally make every year. I always make a 99 speed build, but just this year, I didn't feel the need to because with the guard builds, you gotta sacrifice that steal rating, and I kinda like having that. So anyway, let me know in the comment section if you guys 
Thought this looks like a fun build to use. This Vince Carter build. Expect some videos. Like for the hype. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Do you know what they got to put crazy. into uh, 2K22? They got to put the shimmy before the shot in. Like the celebration hey, before yeah. the shot now. Trey Young did something that nobody does. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. celebration before the actual jumper. Yep. That was insane. I know they're going to incorporate that.